Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of the Random Robot Does Something Random. Today we're going to be working on a boat trailer and we're going to be replacing some of the keel rollers. So as you can see here, they're in pretty bad shape and they need to be replaced before we put the boat back on. So the first step is to remove these old rollers and we have to remove the cotter pin that's holding them in so I'm just going to use a pair of pliers so once we get the cotter pin out we're going to have to get the shaft out of the roller assembly and the problem is when steel rusts it expands and this is going to cause a lot of work so those actual plastic things you see there aren't going to move so we're going to have to use some violence against it some physical force so I actually lost the footage of me tackling that but it took quite some time to get the scale off so here is a good one and here is one of the ones I took out and I just painted it up and we're going to reuse it because the ends are still relatively good and here's some new rollers and we're going to put those on so if your sh shaft was in too bad a condition, you could just take some, in this case here, it would be 5.8 steel. They usually come in standards for either 5.8 steel uh, round or half inch round, depending on the size of your boat trailer and the type of rollers going on. So we're just going to start putting these back in by lining up the brackets. Sometimes they're a little finicky to get lined up, but once you do, it'll push the shaft right through. Now I did replace all three front keel rollers on this one because they were all quite bad. The back three seemed to be fine. So we're just uh, reinstalling the cotter pins on the other side and bending one arm of them down to prevent the shaft from sliding out. And you may require two pairs of pliers to hold it because the rollers want to roll. And it makes it difficult to bend the other part of the cotter pin down. You could also use a pair of vice grips on the other end of the shaft to hold it from rotating as well. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching the Random Robot. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.